Good morning guys, this is David and Laura from Busy Bee F uh, Farms and today we um, are going to go and help a friend of ours um, with a drainage issue but before we can do that we've got our morning chores that we got to take care of. Um, we've already uh, fed and watered the baby um, chicks, the meat birds and uh, while Laura was doing that I took care of the big girls um, uh, got the eggs and everything and Laura just raised up the sides on her greenhouse I still I've got the header built for the door I just got to cut the plastic out and put it on the doors and then mount the doors up um, I haven't done that yet and she set her plants out um, those are all flowers flowers and stuff mm -hmm. set them out and uh, it so they can, even with the sides up, yeah, it's still getting up to like 100 degrees in there. So, uh, last night we uh, let this car get by one of my neighbors. <clears throat> All right, so the rattle trap's by. Mm -hmm. So, uh, um, last night we went down and we put up some um, high tensile uh, wire that we're going to trellis our muscadine vine on. So as we uh, um, ride down to uh, take care of Max's eyes, we'll stop by and uh, take a look at that. Now this uh, bucket right here is one of the uh, self-wickening buckets. And... Um, it had what is it that you've got in there Laura? that is oregano that's her oregano which was an invasive plant that uh, was taken over her green stalk and she transplanted it into one of these buckets and put it outside the uh, the door so that it could uh, do its thing yep, just so uh, let's go down and take a look at the um, the muscadine vine because it because uh, everything is blooming out and um, um, we got it got it up so this side she didn't raise up real high because we're not going to be here today yeah, just enough to vent it just to let some uh, cross ventilation go in uh, Matthew and I got the um, the grass mowed and then last night we went and mowed the church There's the girls. Good morning, girls. The apple trees have um, got lots of blooms on them. And the uh, um, pear trees, the new ones, are leaved out and doing good that um that blueberry bush that i thought was dead it it came out good <clears throat> so i don't know how to do that night but i watched the video on it and um i was trying to do it and it it works better if you've got tension on the the line already to tie it off but getting it started i didn't have enough tension and my my knot's not very tight so the top one looks a lot better than the bottom one does but that was the first time that i've tried to do that night and um i will have to learn but we've got two runs of that uh wire going to those posts and i think it's 18 feet here and our plant our muscadine vine here um is coming up and then it's gonna it's just gonna run along this and then um we didn't, weren't able to mow under it because the vine was laid over in that but we'll get this mowed down i'm i talked to uh laura about putting some fabric down and maybe putting some rock over it to keep the the grass from growing but um we'll have to see what uh what comes out with that but uh our uh 
our trees here that we got our uh, pecan trees and they're starting to come out so in our new little um, pear trees are doing good they've got leaves on them these two came from starks brothers um i guess they were all right i just didn't i didn't care for it because you know they came in i think it was this one it was supposed to be a three foot tree it came in it was broke in half and when i called them about it they were like oh it'll grow back well I, it, it is it's growing back yes but i paid for a three foot tree not a foot and a half broke tree so anyways um everybody says that they're really good and really good customer service i might have just got somebody on a bad day um bad uh experience but nonetheless it left a bad taste in my mouth about it but um that one is doing good you can see it's all leaved out <clears throat> but uh anyways we're going to take care of max's eyes and check on the goaties here and then we're going to take you guys along and uh we're going to be re uh replacing a uh, a culvert and um grading to keep the water away from her house around the back of her house she like has a hillside that comes down behind her and um the the water is running up against her house getting under getting under her house so we're gonna see what we can do to resolve that so we're gonna take care of max's eyes we'll be back in just a minute Okay, everyone, so we are here um, at our friend's house, and um, we're here to kind of help with some drainage issues that she's been having, and this is her driveway, um, and she has a culvert that goes under the driveway, as you can see right here, and so the water was not flowing through this culvert very well, and it would back up and wash out part of her driveway, as you can kind of see right over in there. And so what we've done was um, there was a big tree that was right over here, over there's part of it, but there was a really big tree um, and it had some really, really thick roots like that right there. And it had pushed this culvert kind of up at a 45 degree angle. So it was making it really hard for the um, water to push through. And so we got the tree up um, we also found that there was some concrete um, stuck under there too. So there was not a lot of opening to the culvert. So it was at an angle, it not open fully. So there was, uh, the water had a big t challenge trying to get through that. Um, so we have since taken the tree out, taken the um, concrete out. And as you can see, the, the water has now flowed down there. Um, away from where it would overfill into the driveway and wash it out. Um, so that is kind of what's happened there. Um, they, um, she does want to go ahead and put in a second culvert just to increase the flow of water. Um, apparently, I think there's a little pond back that way. And so there's a feed right here of water that flows. And so, um, here's the water that goes into the culvert that's on the other side that we've already uncovered and then right beside it is where we're going to put a new culvert like i said just to kind of increase the water flow you can see the water almost kind of just standing back there because it needs it needs a little bit of fall and way to drain and so that is what we are here doing um, so we're like right in the middle of it get trying to get this done um, there's some more um, drainage water issues closer to the house but this was one big one um, that we're trying to tackle at the moment um, so we wanted to share with you kind of what the excavators doing today trying to to create a drainage and 
flow of water and I mean we've had some rain here recently so we've definitely had had reasons to, to need this um, not to mention just your gravel driveway when you need to try to get up to your house and it keeps washing away and and gravel's expensive too so um, anything that can be a help to finish it uh, to fix it um, so that's what we're doing here um, I know that there's some more drainage stuff at the um, um, up closer to the house so we'll definitely show that um, but David it looks like David's gone to get the culvert because it's it's time to put it in The first culvert is a um, concrete one. This one is a galvanized. Alright, so David is finished here. Um, he backfilled um, to, fin to um, you know, smooth out the driveway here. And then of course backfilled on each side of the culvert. The new culvert is longer than the, the existing one. <coughs> so it looks, you can definitely see it more. Um, but as you can see, the um, water is running really well. It's running through, you know, both of the culverts and the longer one more so and then on this side i'm not going to get too close because it is super muddy we've had a lot of rain here recently um, but he backfilled and and so the water is now flowing and moving and doing what it's supposed to do so hopefully it does not wash out her driveway anymore um, so now we're headed up to maybe start working on the other drainage issue and we'll see kind of where that ends up Okay, so we're up here closer to the house, and um, as you see, there's a hill that comes down to about right here, and so along the back, there's like this small little ditch that is getting water in it, and it's going down this way to the driveway, washing out right there, coming back down, and kind of crisscrossing over the driveway some, and so... David is going to try to use his new grading bucket to kind of help widen this um, ditch a little bit to be able to handle the flow of the water that comes off the hill. And so um, this is the first time he has used this grading bucket. Um, we got it uh, back in January, I guess. <clears throat> and he's not really had an opportunity to need to use it. So it is from it's a mongo attachment and it's a grading bucket and that's all i know about it he might can tell you more um but we're going to just see kind of how it works here not seen how one works either so that's pretty neat and it just tilts back and forth like that 
all with a touch of a button inside the excavator. <coughs> So here again, this is um, on the other side of the house, but as you remember, the hill and the water, and so um, David's just trying to make a path for the water to run and not run to the house. So he's using the grading bucket and just gently creating a small little ditch there and then taking the rest of that dirt and just kind of putting it up against the house to kind of keep the water from running to the porch. Um, so that's kind of what he's doing. We've started here on this side. There is a small um, corrugated pipe there that runs from the, um, um, oh, I forget, the downspouts. Um, and so that's what this is. And so he started there and he's just gonna track around the house, I do believe is what he's gonna do. Um, but that was the other water issue. So I think the grading bucket's working pretty good. I mean, it's definitely making that small little valley there, that little ditch um, where the water can just run and, and then just kind of run down the, the hill and, and keep going instead of going towards the house. So, yeah, seems like it's working pretty good. <clears throat> like you can see it kind of wrap around over there and he's just continued to to dig and make that that little valley there and then just put the um the dirt up against the house to keep it from running to the house and and finding out it was running under the house a lot so um, hopefully this will help okay 
So I do believe David is finished with um, the grading and everything right here. So he's got the the um, the kind of ditch that he's trenched right here all the way to right here. And he stopped um, because this kind of has a natural swell anyway. And then it's going to run into that smaller ditch um, and then kind of just help hold the water and drain, not, not hold it, but just drain it off. Um, so he was able to get that kind of to a stopping point there um, and then smoothed smoothed out around the house and so hopefully this will help hopefully this will help and that's what he did today I think um, we are going to be digging a hole for a tree um, to plant and then I think that we're going to be about done here today so um, just wanted to share with you a little bit about what we did and using that new attachment that David got and um, how we we're able to hopefully help somebody out and um, hopefully hopefully the drainage issues will be kind of solved so it will flow from here and then whatever is necessary just through that little spot right there and hopefully keep the water from her house so anyway thank y'all for sticking with us today and watching this kind of progress and all the few little things that we did and so thank you for watching you guys take care and god bless <laughs>